Hey guys for watching Volgar's videos. It's a quick video about what should I get. My next big thing. Cause I did just buy a Subaru. In case you didn't know. If you didn't know, you should have because I already already uploaded a video to that showed it off, you know. That was pretty cool. Um yeah. But uh so what should I get? A iPod touch. I found a hundred twenty dollar one that's sixteen gigabytes and hopefully it's a real ad because I I've seen an ad before that was only seventy six dollars or seventy something seventy five seventy something for thirty two gigabytes but they never replied to my emails and I think I tried to call them and they never answered or I don't know something they never re yeah they never replied to my calls or anything like that I just got a, a voicemail so I think it was a fake ad or I don't know what and they also never er erased their ads so yeah so hopefully it's a, it's a good ad if it is I think I'll probably buy that tomorrow because that's definitely a good deal hundred or sixteen gigabytes for hundred twenty bucks yeah I went to Ace Buyers the pawn shop and I looked at some of their crap and they were selling an eight gigabyte iPod touch and it even had some scratches. It didn't look it wasn't in that the best condition. And they were trying to get a hundred and sixty something, hundred and seventy dollars off that. Like, come on. You can buy them new for two hundred bucks. What moron's gonna pay hundred and sixty for a used one? Right. So uh yeah, in case you can tell I'm kinda of tired, I'm gonna go to bed after this. Um so yeah. Eight sixteen gigabytes, which is a good amount, because I'm I don't want to get an 8 gigabyte unless it's really cheap. You know, if it was only 70 bucks, bam, I buy it like that. But uh, what I find with the 8 gigabytes is that, I mean, I got a friend that's got an 8 gigabyte, and I I play it every time I I'm around him. You know, every time he's over or any time I'm around him, you know, it's his it's his toy. And uh, because months ago, beginning of the year, I really wanted one. I was saving up for one, but then. Uh, it just never happened because I got paid late, and then by the time I did get paid, I decided to get what was it? I don't know. Oh man, whatever. Don't even worry about it. Um. Anyways, but he, he hardly listens to music. Okay, he's got like maybe two gigs of music on his uh touch, if that, and then like maybe a gig of a video. So like, I'm thinking about the half of his stuff is just apps. And he filled it up. And somebody like me that's a downloadaholic, you know, I download everything. You know, I download anything if I can. Anyways, so yeah, uh, 8 gigabytes I've most definitely maxed out. I mean, I, I've got my 16 gigabyte Zen, and that's filled enough my music. And so, yeah, if I had a 16 gig, I could fill it full of apps and have a little bit of room left over for videos. So I can use my Creative Zen for music because iPods suck for music. I don't even trust them. Sound like crap. So yeah, 120 gig or 120 bucks, 16 gig, or I could get just as easy a uh, 32 gigabyte for 200 dollars, which I don't really want to spend that much for an iPod Touch. Now, if I spend about 200 bucks, this is what I want. I would do want to get a PS3. So what should I get? iPod Touch, PS3. Um, the games I would want to get for the PS3 are uh, Mod Nation Racers, that looks really cool. Um, Need for Speed Shift, Burnout Paradise. Um, Burnout Paradise, Need for Speed Shift. Um, Grid, Dirt, uh, Bioshock, you know. Oh, the new Tron game that's coming out. The new. What was the other one? Oh, the new Twisted Metal. So, yeah. And the thing about, if you say get a 360, I, I just can't trust him. I was talking to a guy at GameStop, and he said, I asked him about what what PS3s they have on, used PS3s they have on stock, how much they were. And I asked him what problems did they come across. And he said, well, the only problems you might find is that the old ones, the lasers might go out, and uh, it's an easy fix. The manufacturers will fix it. And then the only problem was with the flame. One got returned. It was like the power brick was faulty or something. And 
then you said something like it might have been too hot, so I don't even know how true that was. Like, really, your power brick is hot. All power bricks get hot. So, yeah. And I asked him about, so how about the difference from the PS3 and 360 on, uh, problems? And he said, oh man, definitely the PS3 has less problems. The 360, he gets returns on the 360s every day. It's overheated, red ring, take it back! So, yeah, I mean, the, the new PS, the, the, the new 360 looks pretty cool, but until, uh, I, it, it's out for like at least half a year or something like that, so for, for people to try it, and, you know, for reviews to get out and whatever, and if I don't hear any red rings from, from that thing, it'll have a possibility, but I doubt it. Because with, with the PS3, you get free online. You can go on, you can go on YouTube and whatever, do internet stuff. Um, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, which oh wow, the new 360 has. But yeah, um, I don't see myself getting a 360 because, first of all, if I want to play online, I have to pay 50 bucks. I don't want to pay money. I just want to get the cheapest solution and play with that thing. So 360 or iPod Touch, what would you get? What do you recommend for me? Uh, and tell me all about it, your opinion. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thumb me up.